So what evidence was provided to support the ideas that papers would close down? There was significant evidence, not least from local newspapers, into the cost pressures that they face and the additional cost pressures that they would potentially face under Section 40. The, the evidence for this was, um, was clear. So, do you have a rational basis for believing that Section 40 would cost the newspaper industry £100 million a year? I have a rational uh, reason for believing that the risk of impact on local newspapers was significant if they I'm were I'm not to asking about local newspapers. I'm asking about £100 million a year to the whole industry, local and national. Mm. Do you have a rational reason for believing that's true? Um, yes, I have a rational reason for... Uh, considering that as part of the uh, part of the evidence base. I'm talking about testing the actual figures that uh, News Media Association came well, up with. We, we, we looked at, in the department, we looked at all of this, uh, all of the very considerable evidence. So did you know that this committee asked the newspaper industry for evidence of these costs and large numbers of claims and they were unable to give us any satisfactory evidence? Did you consider that? Did you know that was evidence that had happened in front of this committee? Um, well, I hadn't seen that evidence. The Section 40 isn't on the statute book, so, it's, so I, I don't see how um, it's possible to ask for evidence of something that, the impact of something that hasn't yet been enacted. Well, 